it's that time of year where we're going to be seeing a ton of iPhone 14 rumors right now. Even though we have a couple months before September when Apple usually shares um, the new iPhone 14. But in this video, I want to share with you why I'm still using the iPhone 13 mini and why you should probably uh, go and get it right now if you've been on the edge of either waiting for the iPhone 14 or buying and investing in an iPhone 13 mini. So let's start. So first off, we're going to want to talk about the size of the iPhone 13 mini. Now, of course, I've been using the iPhone 13 mini ever since it was released last year in September, and I have no regrets on using the iPhone 13 mini. And one of the things that attracted me to the iPhone 13 mini was the size of the iPhone. So first off, it is very comfortable to hold and light. Um, so I have small hands, so an iPhone 13 mini just made sense for me because also I get to use it with one handed, which is super important to me uh, whenever I use an iPhone because I just want to be able to use it very quickly with one handed and I have to stop um, and hold it out with two hands when I'm using an iPhone. Another thing, of course, is of course the lightness of the iPhone. So it's not really that heavy to carry around and sometimes you might even forget that you're carrying it around when you put it into your pocket and you're just out and about. Sometimes you might even forget that you, you have it on you. That's how light the iPhone 13 mini is and that's one of the things that also really caught my attention when it came to using the iPhone 13 mini. Now, of course, the iPhone 13 mini is the lightest and smallest iPhone out there when it comes to the iPhone 13 line that was released last year and it's probably one of the best iPhones out there just because of that size and how powerful and crazy the iPhone is but also because of how cute the iPhone mini is and the size like it is the smallest little one out there but don't let the size hold you back when you're buying the iPhone 13 mini next of course is the battery so you know there's a lot of myths out there when it comes to the iPhone 13 mini battery but I'm going to put those away out now. And so the iPhone 13 mini probably has one of the best battery lives out there. It's a huge improvement from the iPhone 12 mini, even though I was not a iPhone 12 mini user, I was still an iPhone 11 user. And so I really, really am not complaining about the iPhone 13 mini's battery life because it does hold on the whole day depending on how you use the iPhone 13 mini of course. Like if you're using it to edit a ton of videos and a ton of photos and you're just going crazy when it comes to editing on your iPhone 13 mini, then yes, you're gonna use a ton of more battery energy just to keep up and be able to do all that stuff. But if you're just a casual user throughout the day where you're just texting and you're just emailing and you're just calling people a few times a day, um, then your iPhone 13 mini battery life is gonna have no issues when it comes to that. But if you're a hardcore user, then I highly recommend you want to charge this maybe twice a day if you're using it really hardcore when it comes to editing and a ton of videos. Um, because I use my iPhone 13 mini to make a ton of YouTube shorts for this channel and at the end of the day it is barely surviving where I have to connect it just so that I can reach the rest until I go to sleep. And so yeah, I just... but. Also, because that's a different type of usage and it depends all on the type of user that you are when it comes to the iPhone 13 mini. And like I said, you will not be disappointed when it comes to the iPhone 13 mini's battery life. So next, of course, is the performance of the iPhone 13 mini. So this is the third reason why I really, really enjoy using the iPhone 13 mini is how powerful and crazy it is. Like the size might uh, like it might put you off, but the power it holds inside is just really insane and could keep up with probably the iPhone 13 Pro as well. So first off, of course, it is using the iPhone uh, 12 Pro's camera sensor on the 13 mini. So that's why it had the different um, uh, diagonal change on the iPhone 13 mini, but also you're getting a good decent camera from the iPhone 12 uh, Pro's camera, uh, which is, you know, was one of the best cameras out there last year. Um, and so this year, of course, the iPhone 13 mini just has an amazing camera uh, on it thanks to the iPhone 12 Pro. But of course, like I said, I do edit a ton of videos and I take a lot of pictures with my iPhone 13 mini and I shoot a ton of videos as well. And I'm surprised on how well it handles and how well I can edit all, most of my videos that I shoot on the iPhone 13 mini with using third party apps out there to edit all my videos right on the iPhone 13 mini. It doesn't really heat up or anything like that when I'm editing um, because I, on, I add a few different little graphics and all that stuff. And so yeah, it's just a really, really uh, amazing phone 
to use and you'll be surprised on how powerful it is and how well it can keep up with no lag or no issues. Um, you, you'll probably forget that you're even editing on an iPhone 13 mini because of how well it does the job when it comes to using um, uh, all the specs and everything inside the iPhone 13 mini. Now if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really want to know if, you'll, if you're an iPhone 13 mini user and what you really enjoy about the iPhone 13 mini. So thank you so much for watching this video and as always I will see you guys later.